Hi, Elena with Stretch ER and Pilates ER. Today we're going to do a reformer workout um, for the second time for me. Didn't record the first time, which is going to be even better view for you. So um, let's do it. We're going to be on a yellow spring. It's a fun one. We're going to lay down on our back and we'll get started from there. If you don't have a yellow spring, just do a light spring, okay? Um, the lightest spring that you got for what we're doing, and if it's too hard to get into some of these moves, Try to modify. You can do all the same leg work that we're doing without doing what we're about to do with our arms. So, um, let's have the arches of our feet on, which is a prehensile position if you're being classical. You straighten our legs, hold on to yourself, bend the knees. Give me a couple of these uh, passes. I want the hips, knees, and balls of the feet, and really that first and second metatarsal to be one smooth line. Really feel that upper foot hug the bar. Feel that bottom foot hug the bar. Good. So midfoot, we're rubbing on that transverse arch. And working here in this position, we're making our deep front line engage just by curling over this bar and by bending and straightening our legs. So bend here. And then here, just bring your soles of the feet towards each other, soles of the feet out. Soles of the feet towards each other, soles of the feet out, towards each other, out. Now, middle of the foot, straighten out. And on a light one. Soles of the feet towards each other, soles of the feet out. Towards each other, out. On this nice light spring, it's not too intense on these feet, which is a nice way to work this arch and just break this up. Okay. Now, still on the prehensile, on the arch of that foot, lift the left leg to the ceiling. We're gonna do leg circles, not like we would on the mat. We're not gonna lift the hip up anyway. We're gonna keep the hip steady. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Really work on a long leg here, the one that's extending up to the ceiling. One more. Good, we reverse this. Inhale, lower, exhale on that lift. Inhale, lower, exhale on the lift. Couple more. Two, bring it down, lift the other leg, circles, reach that second toe, stabilize that pelvis, couple, last one, hold it up, reverse it, lower, exhale on the lift. Really feel that leg cross the body and then work on that long knee. Take that front, little front muscle in front of that knee to really help extend it out. Last pass. Mm, bring those feet down. Now from here, I'm going to bend my knees and look up to the risers and I'm going to jump and try to catch my sail. And then elbows out to the side. I have a bend in my elbows. Or, uh, yeah, I have a bit in my elbows. I'm going to shimmy away from the shoulder stoppers just a tad so it's not jammed into my world. Legs are in tabletop, hip width apart. You lower one leg down, exhale as you lift this, and then lower the other leg down. Keep this 90 in the knee joint the whole way through. Now, this leg, keep alternating. This leg doesn't necessarily have to touch the ground. It's called a toe tap. But again, don't feel like you need to tap that leg down by any means. Now, how far you go down depends on the stability of your own pelvis. I want that pelvis to be squared off, the top of that pelvis to be squared off to that beautiful bottom of your rib cage. And the bottom of the rib cage to be squared off, pointed at the top of that pelvis. Exhale, bend those elbows a little bit more. We're going to do a double toe tap with legs together. Lower down as low as you can, keeping the pelvis neutral. Exhale as you lift. Keep this going. Smooth and calm. Feel those beautiful elbows out to the side. I'm going to change these elbows up in a minute. Last pass. Hands on top of the risers or elbows up here in this position. Now you can always hang on to the side of the risers too, uh, versus hang on to the top. So legs are hip width apart, curl the knees to the shoulder stoppers as an exhale, and then inhale, exhale as you roll down. 
So many rollovers. Exhale as you curl that pelvis up. Inhale, roll it. Exhale as you slowly roll down. Feel the top and bottom of every spine bone. Inhale as you lift the legs. Exhale as you curl it up. Inhale. Exhale as you roll it down. Calm and steady. Feel every spine bone. Feel the same speed everywhere. Last pass. Now, from here, have those legs to go along. Exhale, roll up and over, legs to the ceiling. And now from here, exhale, roll down. Try to keep those legs long up to the ceiling. Lower those legs. Lift the legs. Exhale as you roll the butt up, bone by bone. Try to reach those legs straight to the ceiling. Inhale, hold it. Exhale as you roll down. Try to keep the legs together. Feel the left and right side of each spine bone. Inhale, lower. Lift. Exhale, up. Our jackknife. Inhale. Exhale as we roll down a burst of it anyway. Now from here, I want you to lift those legs up and over your head. Now our uh, corkscrew. Swivel the legs one direction. I don't care what direction. Round the spine down, bone by bone. Roll down that side of the spine. You lower those legs. You lift those legs. Then you roll up and over. You go to the middle. You go to the side. You roll down. Exhale. You lower the legs, lift the legs, exhale up and over. To the middle, to the side, round jack. Exhale up and over. To the middle, to the side, round down. Exhale, exhale up and over. Nice pass. Swivel, so notice we're going one direction, one way, in a circle. And then we do the other direction. Now, go to the middle and roll down, bone by bone. Very good. Legs and tabletop, elbows out to the left and right side, little pulses with these arms. Pulse nice and calm. Shoulders aren't jammed up into the shoulder stoppers. You have your uh, lace that makes you happy here. Extend one leg out, one leg's in tabletop. Keep the pulse. Rotate that knee up to the ceiling. Ankle straight to the ceiling. Lean out of that second toe, first toe. Switch your leg, the one that's long, I'll call it a teaser leg, other leg, tabletop. Look at them to join us, hi mama. Both legs are gonna go long to teaser. Squeeze those legs together, smooth and steady. Last pass. Good. I want you to find the feet on the side of the performer. And it's long and so Very good. So, let's have our feet on the bar, balls of the feet on, hands are by our side. You just straighten the legs. And then find this. Hip socket, knee, second toes all in the line. Hold it, lower and lift your heels. Bend. Straighten. I'm going to make sure I want my carriage, my butt's not off. Lower the heels, lift the heels, bend in. Tuck the anger on your carriage. Straighten the legs. Lower the heels. Lift the heels. We stay here. Reach your arms up. You roll up. Exhale. Make sure you have enough room for your baby on that carriage. Good. Inhale. Open your heart. Exhale. You round down bone by bone. Good. Get where you need to. It's great because this spring doesn't push you around. Exhale. You roll up. Make sure you have a lot of weight on that first metatarsal. Inhale. Open your heart. Exhale. You roll down. Making sure your torso has enough room on your carriage. Again. Reach your arms. Lift the head. Exhale. You roll up. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round, and then roll down. One last pass. We get pretty left. We roll it up. Inhale, open the heart. Now from here, twist the arms one way, and then the other. And then the other. 
Bring it in. Double pulse this time. And then twist. Our spinal twist and mat work. Make sure your sit bones have enough space. Couple more. Last pass. A light spring stomach massage. Hands are on the edge. Heels are together. You bend in on an inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs. Lower the heels. Lift the heels. Exhale, bend in. Here's our breath work. Inhale, straighten. Lower the heels. Lift the heels. Exhale. Inhale, straighten. Lower. Lift. Again. Lower. Lift. Last pass. So we have three different, four different hand positions for this. The next one would be hands on the shoulder stoppers. If that's too much, you can have your hands on the carriage. You straighten the legs. Hold on to those toes. Lower the heels. Lift the heels. Exhale. Pull it into that yellow spring. Inhale as you go out. It's all about, it's called stomach massage. It's all about coming in. Getting all that air out and detoxing that beautiful visceral, that organ system of yours. Two more. Lower. Lift. Exhale. Now, this last pass, we got a lot of use, use a lot of abs to get this going. Let's straighten the legs and find our body position first. You reach up to where you're sealing and warming. You do the same thing. You bend it on, down on the exhale. Inhale, straighten out. Inhale, lower the heels. Inhaling, lift the heels. Exhale as you bend in. All the air out. Big inhale. Still inhaling. Still inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Now for the last of our hand versions, it's a little different than the next one. The next pass doesn't have that calf raise. So you just press it out and then you open up to a T arm to one side, kind of like what we just did. And then you exhale as you come in. Then the other side, you inhale, twist and open. Exhale, come in, go to the center. Keep this going. Inhale, exhale, pull it to the center. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull to the center. Two more passes. Last one. And pull it to the center. Good. We jump on a light spring. Um, Let's come out of this. Let's have on a red only. I'm going to take off this yellow spring. Let's lay back down on the reformer. So, one spring is a red spring. That's your lingo for spring work. You have your heels on hip width apart. I want you to roll the butt up bone by bone. Straighten the legs out. Bend the knees in. And roll down. Yeah. Roll it up. Straighten it out. Bend it in. Roll it down. So every spine bone. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, press it out. Even those knees out. Exhale, bend it in. Roll it down. Inhale out. Lots of hamstring. In. And then roll down. The last one, I'm going to change it up. Up. Out. In. And roll it down. It's nice on the blue, red and the blue spring, especially pressing it out. It's challenging on that red. So, from here, roll it up, stay up. Just for marches, lift one leg at tabletop, lower it down, other leg, lower it down. Keep it going. So marches on this light spring is a lot for the back chain of the body to have to stabilize you when you march. So try to find that transition, feel smooth in that body when you do this. Feel the evenness of the left and right heel when you place it on the bar. Feel those hips try to be stable as you march. Couple more passes. Last pass. And bring it down. Round the spine and roll down bone by bone. Oh, it feels good. I should just do a little bit of armor. We're here, the spring's here. Let's do it. Long straps, 
Legs in tabletop, just pull down and lift. Pull down. I'm gonna search for a harder situation. I'm gonna go to a short strap. If you ever wanna work harder, do it. Pulling down, inhale as you lift. Hands stop right over the shoulders. They pull down and they hover down by the hips. Exhale. Let's add in some leg magic just to change it up. When you pull those arms down, extend the legs. Bend the knees and lift the arms. You got it. Inhale. Exhale. Hold it down and keep it down. Turn your palms towards your body, bend the knees and open the arms to a T. Straighten the arms or pull the arms, straighten the legs. Bend the knees, lift the arms out to the side. Pull the hands by the hips as you straighten those legs. You keep this going, keep the shoulders even from the left and right side. You're gonna juice an orange in your armpit. Exhale as you press away. Two. Exhale, last pass. Press it out, keep it out. Turn your palms down, triceps, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Keep it going, upper arm bones are hovering. Those elbows are pointing. Try to keep those legs together. Knees, ankles. Find that exhale out of the mouth. You should be able to hear yourself breathe. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Good. Lift these arms, bend the knees in. Lower the arms, crunch it up. And now release. Lower the arms, crunch it up. And now release. We're going to extend the legs this time. Pull it down, extend those legs under the bar. Lift them up and then come in. I'll say all that again. You crunch it up, pull the arms down, extend the legs under the bar, lift the legs of the bar, and then you come back in. One more time. Crunch it up, legs go under the bar, lift up into the bar, and then bend back in. Good, okay. This hasn't been done in a while. If you have connectors, if you don't have connectors, don't listen to what I'm saying, and you're on this red spring, I would put both straps in one foot so you can get the same uh, situation as far as the pull. I'm going to bring my right strap down. If you don't know what connections are, turn the page. Don't worry about it. Right foot is going to have the right strap. Right foot's going to have the right strap. My left ankle is going to cross on top. Left ankle is going to cross on top. My legs are going to find center. You lower down. You inhale, lift the legs. Exhale as you lower. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. One more. This next pass, we're going to act like it's a long spine. You lower it down, you lift the legs, and then you press in the arms. Roll it like that. It's on that leg spring. Inhale. Exhale, round down. Let your back, or excuse me, let those legs melt down an imaginary wall. Once your butt touches, pull these legs down. They're about center of the body. Lift the legs. Then you roll up and over. Inhale, hold it. Exhale as you roll down. Not classical by any means, but yet it's fun. Pull it down. Best one you got, make sure you breathe here. Exhale as you roll it up. Inhale, hold it. Ooh. Exhale as you slowly roll down. Good. Lower down. Bend the knees in towards your chest. Try to keep the knees together. Straighten the legs. Bend the knees in towards your chest. Try to keep the knees together. Straighten out. So, just scouring out that hip socket on a little single leg press. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Good. Let's come out of this. Take this strap down. So that was right foot, right strap. Left foot, left strap. <laughs> I'm going to say this again. Again, if you have connectors, 
You can put both straps in the feet to give you the sensation, or maybe even a right knee glue. So, once you have the left foot in the left strap, cross the right ankle on top. Both hands are by your side. You lower these legs down. Inhale to lift up. Think legs are down the center of the body. Exhale as you pull. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, pull. On this in the last pass, next pass, we're going to do a long back stretch in a way. You lift the legs, inhale, press in the arms, exhale, roll the booty up, inhale, legs high. Exhale, slowly roll down. Try to feel the legs melt down an imaginary wall, feel every single spine bone. Once your back is down, pull the legs down, midline. No pinchy, no pain, inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, roll it up, inhale, hold it. Exhale, let these legs melt down the wall. Lower the legs. Lift the legs. Exhale, roll up and over. Inhale, hold it. Exhale as you roll down. Feel every single spine bone. Lower the legs. Bend the knees and knees somewhat to stay together. Straighten the legs. By somewhat, I mean you try to keep them together. Exhale. Trying to scour out this thigh bone a little differently in the pelvis. That's the whole fascia focus reason I'm doing this one here. As you can feel, it gets a little tight, gummy when you bend in. Sometimes we just need to get there. Last pass. And press. So here, uncross your legs, bend yourself in, help yourself with the strip. Okay. Now, since we're doing this single leg stuff, let's stay with it, okay? So, we're on our side. You can either bring the headrest up to hold your head, or you can bring this arm through the shoulder stoppers and you can relax your head on your arms. Either way, whatever's comfortable for you. So, scoot your butt back a hands width distance. Find your foot in the front strap. So, if you have connectors, you, I would put a red and a blue on to make this happen, um, or even use both straps in one foot. So bottom leg is pulled in, top leg is long. You swing this leg forward in space, toe and knees come towards the wall your head's pointed to. Exhale as you pull this long leg back, align with the hip. Inhale as you swing forward. Exhale as you pull back. Keep this going. Calm and steady. Feel that calmness, stillness in your torso. Shoulders and hips stay stacked. Notice how the leg that's pulling stays neutral. Don't let the thigh rotate. Two more. Last pass. Bend the knee in. Kick it out. Keep this going. Let that strap trace the front knee. Exhale as you kick it out. Our side lane sleepers here. Exhale as you press. Couple more. Two. Last pass. Bend this knee in where it's aligned with the other knee. Lift this leg out to the side, fire hydrant, lower this leg down. So here the carriage stays still. It is just you externally rotating this leg. And again, scouring that pelvis with that beautiful thigh bone. Two more passes. Last one. Here, straighten that leg out. Top hip stacks. You bend this knee in. Exhale as you kick it out. Bend it in. Exhale, kick it out. Couple more passes here. Two more. 
Last pass here. Hold it out, keep it out. The long leg lifts up, inhale. Exhale as you pull it down. Long leg lifts. Exhale, pull. Classical, no remove so far. Um, somewhat classical anyway. Couple more. Wish you could do this on the springboards. You can do these moves on the Cadillac. You can do them on the exo chair. Laying on your side here. Hold it. Turn the toe and knee forward. Bring it to that front corner of the reformer. Small circles the size of a soccer ball. Exhale when you pull it. Exhale. Now work the alignment of the knee and the toe. The alignment of that thigh. Last pass. Reverse it. Couple more. Two. Last pass. Good. Bend in. Take yourself out of the strap. Let's stay here with the same strap. So my legs are stacked together, and then I want my feet to align up with my bum. My feet to align up with my bum. I'm going to lift my feet up in space a little bit. I want to pull this hand down all the way to my hip. The long arm lifts to the ceiling. Do exhale, pull to the hip. Inhale, lift to the ceiling. Exhale, pull to the hip. Keep this going. So really keep those shoulders stacked. Find this calm and cool in your own body. Two more. Last pass. Hold it down, keep it down, turn your palm back. Swing that arm forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, swing forward. Exhale, pull back. Keep this going. This shoulder drapes down your skeleton of a rib cage. Down your skeleton. Also known as a rib cage. Two. Exhale. Last pass here. Exhale. Muy bien. Let's come out of this. Strap goes back to its home. So, let's rotate to our back. Rotate to your back. Hmm. And just stay here. Take a big breath in. I know we're not done. Don't worry. I remember. I want you to feel the difference between one leg and the other, one side of your body and the other. And personally for me, my right side of the body, everything I just worked, I feel like I'm in space more. I feel like I fill up space more. Like I got blood flow in my hips, my legs, my whole side of that body feels like, or no, excuse me, opposite. My other side of the body feels like it's been worked in space because it's had to hold me in position that whole time. And then at the same time, the other side of the body, the one that just had the strap in it, <clears throat> I want you to feel, to me, the unity. I feel like my whole left side of the body, everything that I just had in the strap, feels like it's one. Where my right side is like, um, can I get a little of that, a little of that? But personally, I feel that difference in the left and right side. And maybe we feel a little bit more closed, a little bit more unity that's happening between every aspect of our body. So turn, I think awareness is key, especially in your practices, especially for um, alignment practices. So please, please take the time and try to feel what the yip yaps about. Hands width distance between the butt and the back of the carriage. So make sure you scoot back there. And then that bottom arm is either holding onto the head or the headrest is lifted for that. You're going to grab onto the top, that strap, that front strap, and you're going to put it on the top leg. If you need to hold onto the strap to help you get into this position, that's always a thing too. Now, from here, kick this leg all the way out straight. Now, if you're a light body or sometimes it jams you in the shoulder stoppers, find your length. Now here, stand on that strap, get long. Notice the bottom tummy doesn't brush on that carriage. Now you swing this leg forward, and then you pull this long leg back, exhale. You inhale, swing this long leg forward. Then you exhale, pull it back. 
Now I really want you to focus on this leg when it's lifted until the knees towards the wall, your crown of the head's pointed, and when you pull it, it's towards the wall you're looking at. Notice what every bone, the upper leg bone's doing, the lower leg bones are doing. Try to find that even alignment. Exhale. One more pass, my friends. I'm gonna reach up with my top arm, stack my shoulders. From here, bend the knee. I want the knee to go right in front of that strap practically the whole time. Exhale as you straighten this leg out. Align with the body. You bend the knee, it travels right in front of you. Then you exhale, kick it out into the alignment of your body. Now you keep going. Now my people with the connectors and you have this whole double strap thing, here is where it can get a little funky, but you can do a lot of these other moves just so you know. Exhale. This is where one of the straps we rub in your head, especially if you had the back strap on the foot as well. Last pass. Pull it out straight. Let's keep it out straight. With a long leg, you swing this leg forward. And with a long leg, you pull it back. We just did this. <laughs> Externally rotate. Lift this long leg up. Side tummies off the carriage. Exhale as you pull this long leg down. Long leg lifts up, side tummies off the carriage. Exhale as you pull down. Couple more of these passes. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you pull. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull. Two. Last pass. Bend the knee, bend the knee out to the side, strap into your best friends here. Exhale as you kick it out. Now you keep going, I want it fluid. Fluid when you bend, fluid when you straighten out all the way, keep those hips even. Now you keep this up, smooth and calm. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press away. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press away. Two. Exhale, press away. Last pass. Press it out and keep it out. From here, no, excuse me, bend it in and keep it bent. I want you to lower this leg down and then lift this leg out to the side. Find me, lower down and then lift out to the side. Keep this going. Now think the hips stay stable and it's this thigh bone that scours that and your hip bones going, okay, I can handle it. Try to find that. Two more passes. Last pass here. Lower the leg down, straighten that leg out. This leg kicks to the front corner of the reformer here. Soccer ball circles. Circle it around any direction. Exhale when you pull that strap. Same speed everywhere. Shoulders are stacked. We got one more of these in or reverse this, excuse me. Turn that toe and knee forward to that wall you're looking at. Same speed when you pull. Last pass. Good. When I'm done with this, I want you to bend in. When I'm done with the strap anyway. Stack the legs on top of each other and align the feet with the back side. You're going to pull this top arm aligned with your shoulder and pull all the way down to your hip. Now the feet lift up in space. Keep it. You lift this arm, inhale, it stops at the shoulder. Exhale as you pull down to the hip. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you pull, inhale lift, exhale pull, inhale lift, exhale pull, inhale lift, exhale pull, one more, pull it, 
keep it. Turn your palm back in space. Almost done, y'all. Swing that arm forward. Exhale, pull back. By the way, this class, I told you I recorded one before this and I didn't record. And it has nothing to do with this class. I completely changed it up on you. This is a great little surprise. I love it. Classical with a little twist. Exhale, pull. One more. Pull it in and keep it. Triceps, last of the kind. Bend the elbow. Straighten down arm all the way out to the hip. Bend the elbow. Straighten out. If you need help, hands on this bar to help you pull sometimes is nice. I try not to get in the habit of that, but just in case, if you need that, but honestly, I would just make it a small range of motion. It doesn't have to be that big. Two. Last pass, long wrist bed. Exhale. Very good. Bring this strap back down to its home. Good. Let's come out of this. I'm gonna play a little bit on the spring setting and I'm gonna put the bar down, put the bar down. So this kind of mimicked our last class, the one that didn't record, so you have no idea what it's going on. But um, this is a nice level to it. Uh, one red spring on, just double checking, nothing changed. You're gonna stand on top of the carriage. No, let's do this first. Hands and knees are gonna be on the carriage. And then walk your toes back on that platform, however your platform may be. So I'm hooking my toes down so my balls and feet can get it. So from here, I just want you, I'm gonna have my knees and my hips right underneath each other, so I open up the carriage a little bit. I'm gonna lift my knees off and then lower. Lift the knees off and lower. Keep this up. Back next, lift it to the ceiling. We got four, three, two. Hold it up on one, press it out to a plank, pike it up. It's a pike. Inhale, plank it out. Eyes down towards the carriage. As you pike it up, your eyes are on your thighs. Inhale, find it more. I'm gonna walk my hands in the middle of the carriage to make it a little harder on the push, but to me, easier on my pike. I can pike it up easier that way. Inhale, find that plank. Exhale, find your pike. So, you can always do this with your feet on the bar. You can do this with your hands on the shoulder stoppers. You can have a short box down, or a long box down for that matter, any box down. And do the same thing with your hands on the box. Feet either exactly where they are, or feet on the bar. Lots of level ways to up this pike and plank here. Find your plank, keep it. Front support, push the arms away, open the carriage, pull the arms back underneath you. This is an inhale. Exhale as you press away. Inhale as you pull underneath you. Exhale, press it away. Inhale underneath you. Couple more passes, lots of weight on that first metatarsal here. Inhale, up the ball of the foot. <laughs> Last time. Bring those hands underneath you, pike it up. Hold this position. Find that plank. Hold this position. Bend the knees in. And bring the knees down. Very good. Okay. From here, I want you to come down to your knees. Sit your butt down on your feet. Just a little bit more moves, and I'll call it a class. So, more on that red spring to me. This one, this red spring anyway, no connectors. Feels a little challenging, so I'm on a long strap. Um, honestly, sometimes I like to go down to a blue even, just so I can control myself. So just be aware, if you need to drop your spring, do it. So first off, you pull down to a low B, and then go back to a T. Palms are forward. Palms are back as you go into a low B, chest expansion also, and go to a T, palms are forward. Good, butt up as you pull these arms, be careful of this. Butt down as you come down. Arms to a T as your butt comes up. And go back down. That's it. Pull up with a booty and down. T arm up with a booty and down. That's it. Keep it going. Now try not to slam the carriage. As you can see, you got to go the same speed. Well, 
You have to control your speed with your carriage so you don't slam, especially as doing two different moves. Couple more, like that. Last pass. Good. Let's do a couple of thigh stretches. Hold on to the top of these straps. Feet, I'm gonna hook them off the back. They don't necessarily have to hook off the back, but I'm gonna. So, locking your eyes forward, you lean back, your chin tucks your chest even more. This is an exhale. No, inhale. This is an exhale as you come up. Lift the arms slightly. With a long body from the knees to the shoulders, you lean back. Exhale, lift the arms, come up. Don't let that booty pop back. Inhale, find that thigh stretch, lean back. Exhale, come up. Good. Inhale, lean back. Lift the arms, exhale, come up. One more, lean back. Lift the arms, exhale, come up. Good job, bring the straps down. Okay, really, really, one more. <laughs> Knees go up to shoulder stoppers. Walk these hands out, pull the shoulders over the hands. Bring those shoulders back, that's all I want from you right now. Put the shoulders over the hands. Shoulders go back. Calm and controlled. Feel the smoothness as you move here. Make that pelvis square off to the ribs. Make the ribs square off to the pelvis. Oh, we got one more. A lot of strength. The further out your arms are, the harder. If you need it easier, bring your arms closer to you or your hands. Okay, you ready for it? Shoulders go right over these hands. Curl the spine, the knees pull in. Release the knees, flatten the back. Curl the spine, pull the knees in. Release the knees, flatten the back. Curl the spine, pull the knees in. Release the knees, flatten the back. One more. Curl the spine first, then you pull in the knees. Release and drop down. Drop down, bow down. Hmm. Tell your body thank you. Thank your muscles where they are. Thank your alignment where it's at. Thank your bones. Thank your teeth, thank your eyes, thank your ears, thank your vision. No, my friends, the goals that are supposed to be attained in the future will be attained, no matter what. And for you to attain those goals, you must be fully in the present. Connecting with your body. Stay grounded. Look at the people in front of you. Slow down, talk to them. Treat them with kindness and love. More importantly, do that with yourself. Where your attention goes is where the energy flows. Let's paint the picture. In a year from now, let's imagine our life. If I'm like, oh, hey you. Tell me what's up, what's new, paint it. The more descriptive, the better. Take a moment. More descriptive, the better. How healthy have you been taking care of yourself? How nice have you been to yourself? Believe those things will happen. Know that they will. Just like we know those goals that are supposed to be attained will be attained no matter what. Like, you know that's going to happen. Just know it. So we hope yourself up. Mm. I'm going to sit forward. I'm going to have my feet out in front of me. My hands are going to be on my thighs. I want you to sit nice and tall like somebody hooks you from the front of your chest. Somebody hooks you from the back of your head and they lift you up tall. So the front and the back body get long. May you find this length throughout many moments of your life. And I will say always push up on the floor so you can get taller. And feel that beautiful relationship with gravity. Well, I hope you had a good workout. I didn't. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you next time.